one two one two one two one two the title card tonight the streamer J Edgar versus the demon of all demons Unaleska will we win tonight will we lose I wonder by the way why we can't go to X when I see so many other people doing so perhaps I'll have to reload that but one two one two Testing, testing, one, two, one, two. Checking those sound levels, checking those ones and twos. Should we get started? I think we should get started. Because the world could use more heroes, and I'm hoping that, unlike last week, one of those heroes is going to be me. Let's get started. So, I think most people had taken off by the time I uh, finished off the stream last week. And uh, Well, I know some people were watching off at the beginning, but <clears throat> it got tedious. And I know it got tedious. I was feeling tedious. That's part of the reason I rage quit last night. Or last week, rather. But if you're watching, hi. Hi, welcome. My name is Jay Edgar, and uh, we're going to go back for round two with Unaleska over on uh, Final Fantasy X. By the way, I've got a follow from uh, that girl, Goldie. I'm not sure where you came from yesterday, or, yeah, yesterday, that girl Goldie, if you came from Contemporary, or if you came from um, a Cat Band stream, because I was on there multiple times yesterday, but um, thank you for coming in and joining me for that, um, joining the channel here. I hope you enjoy what you're seeing. Um, hi, my name is Jay Edgar, and we're going to play Final Fantasy X. I know that uh, there's a lot of news going on right now, and this is primarily a news channel, but um, I'm going to come right off and say I... I don't want to go into it. I'm going to keep right off and say it. I, I really don't. But I do want to blow off some steam. I want to play some video games. So I hope that you'll come and play some video games with me and enjoy what it is that we're doing over here on Final Fantasy X. Uh, fair warning, I am probably going to grind a little bit or attempt to grind. I don't know if I can grind from where I'm at right now. But we're going to see because I got absolutely fucking lootly bodied last week when we did this. And, well, we're going to do it again. So, let's change out some of the scenery over here. It's uh, kind of interesting. We've got, um, it's not Hearthstone. What's the other big Blizzard game? The one with the Tracer that uh, was out there. That was where that song was from, and I've never played it. I was curious about it, but I never played it. But that's what we have for that. Let's get this over here so I can see if there's any activity. Somebody comes in, somebody follows, somebody needs to uh, get Das Boot. Let's get this parked over here. So there's always rearranging when it comes to this. And let's get started. And here we go. Oh. Actually, before we do that. I want to get the rumble stream back up. Just in case somebody decides to come in and join over there. All right, now question number one that I have off of this is, can I go back up? Can I grind? I can grind! That's good, that'll actually give me a chance to refill overdrives and aeons. Because I might actually be under level for what it is that we're doing. Although I could take care of at least one level for most of these people. Thank you. 
I was actually looking at um, just some Reddit threads on this game a little bit earlier and seeing that there are people who have gone through and filled the entire sphere grid and I don't know how, how you have the patience to do something like that. Nobody's going to get benefit off any of this, but... It's the thought that counts, right? But what I can do, of course, is... Like, I've got the overdrive done for Valifor, but I can fill everybody else's again. And then do all these as well. Kamari's overdrive is already full, but get everybody else's. I'll probably get a couple other spear levels out of this. power break. Oh, I missed that one before.
Riku? That's actually respectable damage. Not great, but it's respectable. Look at that, two in overdrive right away. Oopsie. Holy water will help, I like that. Ends now. See, you say that. You're not immune to that. like this game on purpose um I liked I like the story of it like when it first came out and I never finished it that's a big part of it for me is I just I never finished it when I was younger I've never seen the end credits of this game so I want to do that but I also wanted to do it like with an audience so I continue to do it, if that makes sense. Instead of just getting down to like where I'm at right now. And then suddenly being upset, rage quit, and never go back to it. Because that's what I did the last time, is I just, I got to a point, it wasn't necessarily that it got too hard, it was just it got too tedious trying to finish out all the tasks and then just, I think I moved at one point is what happened and then I just, I never finished it. And I want to see the ending. And I've read enough about it, I know how this game ends. That was not the person I wanted to cast that on. I mean, I've always been interested in the Final Fantasy series to begin with, so...
Let's put Kimari in here, just based on the fact he needs some experience. Um, big Fallout fan, huge Fallout fan. Like I have the Brotherhood of Steel sticker in the back window of my pickup. I'm that much of a Fallout fan. Um, before Blizzard got all controversial, I was a huge fan of Blizzard games. Um, I actually brought myself to spend money on a Blizzard game for the first time in ever. I have Diablo 2. Well, the remaster of Diablo 2, I should say. And that's what, once I'm done here, that's what I'm going to play next. Is the remaster of Fallout, or a, a Diablo 2, rather. Um, let's see, what else? What else do I like? Um, Civilization, I like that one. I like that game a lot. And there's a lot of stuff that I want to try now that I actually have enough graphics card to do it. And I've got a uh, capture card so I can do console stuff, too. So that's what I want to do there. But I mean, with this one, we're so close to the end. So I just, I want to finish it. I'm not going to go through and do all the side quests or anything. from cleaning? No, just bragging rights. Alright, Lulu is in overdrive, so all I have to do now is... Get Oren back to there and then just recharge my hands. I mean, you'll get an achievement in, uh, in Steam for finishing. Farewell. No time to waste. Let's go. Well, technically, we've got plenty of time to waste. So I can come back out and do this. She'll do that again. I used to like puzzles until recently. Dude, my nieces and nephews love puzzles. You fuckwit. Oh, 
Oh, that's right, because he'll do that if he's the last one here. I forgot about that. Enough. So Orin is the only one who's going to get credit for this fight. I like idle games, which is, I guess, a weird one to say out loud. Like on mobile? Just something you can set in the background and go. Team is just about out of magic. Gather them all together and solve it faster on you play games the next time. Well the grind is I mean it's part of the fun of it though too. Their efforts already got a overdrive ready. The main antagonist in this game is called Sin. Although I have a very, very Catholic friend who thinks that, well, you know, he knows the actual story of this, but he still thinks it's really based that says the battle against sin at the bottom. He does not play the drums that I know of. He might!
And look at that, Ixion. Now it has a full overdrive. Some special plan for you, you fuckwit. I don't know, at some point I'll go in the Discord and ask if uh, he plays drums. I don't think he does. Touch the spear. And then I got two more. So he's my friend of the, my Catholic friend? Yeah. Yeah, we went to, uh... I do political news here, so we went to a Trump rally. And, uh, he actually filmed for me, so... We've shot guns together, too. Literal uh, glass cannon. What's nice about Aeons is if they miss, it still pounces towards their overdrives. Alright. Is your friend like MMA? Again, I'd have to go and ask him. Mostly when he's in the Discord, he just talks about Catholicism all the time. <laughs> this is a waste, except for the fact that I'm specifically trying to build the overdrives. Legitimately a waste of a turn. Except I'll get credit for the overdrive. Mm, 
I don't believe he has. That I know. I'm going to do one more with him. I think it's got to make, take care to make sure that uh, it doesn't die. Because that resets for Aeons. Like with Jeez. your human characters. If your human characters die, they keep their Aeon, uh, their overdrive gauge. If the Aeons die, they do not. See? Now one more hit like that would take him down. Kimari was queued up.
farewell. Nice. So Oran has brought up enough strength that he can hit the limit break or the break limit. That's nice. Let's do Sphere Grid, quick. Because I don't want to get caught with my pants down like I did the last time. Remember what Sentinel does. But Orin has hit the end of his sphere grid. So where do I want to go with Oron? I think I want to crank up Oren's speed is what I want to do. That is where we're going to start. I was a little surprised Orin was the first one to get all the way through the spear grid. Although Lulu appears to be pretty close. The only thing with Lulu is she's got a couple of locks there. But I believe I have keys for those. Otherwise, yes, Lulu is effectively at the end of the sphere grid too. Level three, but not a level four. Oh, I do have a level 4. I actually got a bunch of them, holy shit. Of course, depending on how much further I go into this game before actually finishing, this would be the opportunity after getting double cast to send Lulu down Yuna's spear grid. Because Yuna actually has stronger magic than Lulu does, but only knows white spells.
that's right, I was going backwards for him. Because I want to get him down into here and get these four spells. always hampered by the fact that she's completely missing for the second act of the game. Riku gets absolutely nothing out of this. But there's the end of Riku's Gered with bribe. And that's everybody. Take two. You guys want to get some popcorn or something? We got a cutscene coming. Statue. That statue lost its power as a faith long ago. It is Lord Zeon, the first faith of the final summoning. What you see before you is all that remains of him. Lord Zeon is... his soul is gone. Gone? You mean... There is no final Aeon? But fear not. Lady Unaleska will show you the path. The final Aeon will be yours. The Summoner and the final Aeon will join powers. Go to her now. Inside, the Lady awaits. Yuna, wait! Aaron, you knew this was going to happen, didn't you? Yes. Why didn't you tell us? If I had told you the truth, would that really have stopped you from coming? You know. I'm not going back. Kimari knows. Kimari goes first. Yuna is safe. Kimari protect. Hopefully the second time is the last time. We're going to see this cutscene together. I might go back and play this just to do side quests. DM Ryan, <gasps> well, um. Someone's coming! Lady Unaleska. Welcome to Zanarkand. I congratulate you, Summoner. You have completed your pilgrimage. I will now bestow you with that which you seek. The final summoning will be yours. Now, choose. You must choose the one whom I will change to become the faith of the final summoning. <sighs> there must be a bond between Chosen and Summoner.
for that is what the final summoning embodies. The bond between husband and wife, mother and child, or between friends. If that bond is strong enough, its light will conquer sin. A thousand years ago, I chose my husband Zeon as my faith. Our bond was true, and I obtained the final Aeon. There is nothing to fear. You will soon be freed of worry and pain. For once you call forth the final Aeon, your life will end. Death is the ultimate and final liberation. Your father, Braska, chose this path. It is not too late. Let us turn back. If I turn back, who will defeat Sin? Would you have some other summoner and his guardians go through this? But... My lord, there must be another way. This is the only way we got now. Fine. Make me the faith. I've been doing some thinking. My dream is back in the other Xanarkand. By the way, I love the I fact that um, into a star blitz they didn't change the lip syncing the when they the dubbed top, it. You, know. you can clearly tell but they're still trying to speak no Japanese for me. in the animation. I'm never going to see him again. My dream's never going to come true. So make me the faith. I'll fight Sin with you, Braska. Then maybe my life will have meaning, you know. Don't do this, Jet. If you live, there may be another way. We'll think of something, I know. Believe me, I thought this through. Besides, I ain't getting any younger, so I might as well make myself useful. Jet? What? You're not gonna try to stop me too. Sorry. I mean... Thank you. Braska still has to fight Sin, Oren. Guard him well. Make sure he gets there. Uh... Well, let's go. Lord Braska, Jekt. What do you want now? Sin always comes back. It comes back after the calm, every time. The cycle will continue and your deaths will mean nothing. But there's always a chance it won't come back this time. It's worth trying. I understand what you're saying, Oren. I'll find a way to break the cycle. You... have a plan? Checked? Trust me. I'll think of something. <laughs> and... The cycle went on. We'll break it. But how? What, you got a plan now? If one of us has to become a faith, I volunteer. Me too, Yuna. That still won't change anything, you know? You'd bring the calm, and then what? That won't break the cycle. Listen. You want to defeat Sin and keep Yuna alive. You don't want Sin to come back, yeah? That is just not gonna happen, brother, you know? If you want everything, you'll end up with nothing. But I want everything! Now you're being childish. I give up. So what would an adult do then? They know they can just throw away a summoner. Then they can do whatever they like. You're right. I might not even have a chance. But no way am I gonna just stand here and let Yuna go. And what... Oren said about there being a way... I think it's true. 
You'll think of... something? Yes. I'll go ask Unaleska. She's got to know something. You really think she'll help you? I don't know. But I have to try. This is my story. It'll go the way I want it. Or I'll end it here. Wait. You say it's your story, but it's my story too, you know? It would be so easy to let my fate just carry me away, following the same path my whole life through. But I know... I can't. What I do... I do... with no regrets. Have you chosen the one to become your faith? Who will it be? Might I ask something first? Will Sin come back even should I use the final summoning to defeat it? Sin is eternal. Every Aeon that defeats it becomes Sin in its place. And thus is Sin reborn. So that's why Jack became Sin. Sin is an inevitable part of Spira's destiny. It is never-ending. Never-ending? But... but... if we atone for our crimes, Sin will stop coming back, yeah? Yeah? Someday it'll be gone, yeah? Will humanity ever attain such purity? Ugh. This... this cannot be! The teachings state that we can exercise sin with complete atonement. It's been our only hope all these years. Hope is comforting. It allows us to accept fate, however tragic it might be. No! no! Where is the sense in all this? Braska believed in Yevon's teachings and died for them. Jack believed in Braska and gave his life for him. They chose to die because they had hope. Just like Never's last time, that's where uh, Oren dies. Give the people of Spira hope. Without hope, they would drown in their sorrow. Now choose. Who will be your faith? Who will be the one to renew Spira's hope? No one. I would have gladly died. I live for the people of Spira, and would have gladly died for them. But no more. The final summoning is a false tradition that should be thrown away. No. It is our only hope. Your father sacrificed himself to give that hope to the people. So they would forget sorrow. Wrong. My father... My father wanted... to make Spiro's sorrow go away. Not just... cover it up with lies. Sorrow cannot be abolished. It is meaningless to try. My father... I loved him. So I... I will live with my sorrow. I will live my own life. I will defeat sorrow... in his place. 
I will stand my ground and be strong. I don't know when it will be, but someday, I will conquer it. And I will do it without false hope. Poor creature. You would throw away hope. Well, I will free you before you can drown in your sorrow. It is better for you to die in hope than to live in despair. Let me be your liberator. All right, here we go. Now, this is it. Now is the time to choose. Die and be free of pain, or live and fight your sorrow. Now is the time to shape your stories. Your fate is in your hands. Yuna needs Kimari. Kimari protect Yuna. Well, I'm fighting. I can't believe we're gonna fight Lady Unaleska. Give me a break. You can always run. Ah. Ah. I'd never forgive myself. No way. Not if I ran away now. Even in death, yeah? Uh, my thoughts exactly. Yuna! This is our story. Now let's see this thing through together. So, I don't have holy magic, unfortunately. But the thing with this is, like, Unaleska does next to no damage, first form. And I kind of jumped the gun a little bit, even without full Aeons. I jumped the gun a little bit and started using overdrives to take her down, because I thought that there was only the one form. There are three forms, and the third form has a full party auto kill. Which is what completely fucked me the last time. But I also didn't realize while I was playing that if any of your characters are in zombie, when the um, what they call mega death comes in and is all auto death, they get passed over by the death. The only thing being that you have to. don't know if I can break you or not. I don't remember. I cannot. I know I can't poison, because I tried that first. Just yet. Start uh, throwing some eye drops at people. And when I say throw some eye drops at people, I mean uh, start throwing a suna at people.
Interesting. Close to the end. <laughs> One down. This is where the zombie comes in. Thank you for that. That's another thing to watch out for is she'll randomly throw Kira at somebody who is in zombie. Excellent. Everybody into zombie, I think.
What is the spell? I don't remember. That could have been better. Let's get you out of here. Alright, here's where the fun begins. Uh, because Lulu and Yuna were both in zombie, that did jack shit to me, thankfully. Alright, you fuckstick, are you ready? I say. And hopefully, what is not? False bravado. In fact, I really hope I get two overdrives off on this.
And I won't because he's cursed. Did she launch Hellbiter off on him already and I didn't even see it? Big issue is I don't know who has to spell right now, so. I guess let's throw the glass cannon. Okay. And curse. God forbid somebody wants to use an overdrive again. So I'm actually not doing bad. Given the fact that I should be in a situation where by this point I will be I mean everybody's in good health yet. And this next attack is going to, I think, drop her below 20k. And I've got four more Aeons that can all do 99.99 each. That did not bring her below 20k. That was lame. I guess let's do yours.
It'd be nice if one of these was immune to this, but I guess it doesn't matter anyway because they don't get another overdrive. And this actually might be the end right here. Because once Ifrit gets his overdrive off, Unileska is under 10k. That's still tedious though. And we got the achievement for it. There you go, Lunar Trees, I got the pr a prize. Die. So does the final Aeon. Okay, bye. And with it, Spira's only hope. Then we'll find Spira a new hope. Fool. There is no other way. Even if there was, even if you did destroy Sin, you, Yevon, the immortal, would only create Sin anew. You, Yevon? Ah. Uh, Zeon, forgive me. Spira has been robbed of the light of hope. All that remains is sorrow. And we still got barely nothing. for AP. I cannot believe what we just did. Let's do something more unbelievable. What? Destroy Sin, so it won't come back. And without the final Aeon. I don't know how just yet, but I'll find out. Okay, can't go that way. Can't go that way. Guess we do have to go this way. We must talk. What? There's something you should know. While they're doing this, I'll be right back. I know. 
It's about you, right? I am also an unsent. You are not surprised. I think... I kinda knew. It was Unaleska, wasn't it? When Braska and Jekt died defeating Sin, I just couldn't accept it. I came back here, tried to avenge them. But she struck me down. Somehow I made my way, crawling down Mount Gagazet. But my strength left me, just outside Bevel. That's where Kamari found me. I told him about Yuna, just before I died. I've been wandering ever since, never going to the far plane. Arin. Don't make that face. Being dead has its advantages. I was able to ride Sin and go to your Xanarkand. And... You've been watching over me since then, haven't you? Why? What's the big idea? Why me? It is one of those things that is difficult to explain. Very well, I will show you. Uh. My memories. Can I ask you one last favor? Uh... Nah, never mind. Out with it. Okay, listen good. Take care of my son. My son in Xanarkand, he's such a crybaby. He needs someone there to hold his hand, see? Take care of him, will you? But how am I supposed to go to Xanarkand? <laughs> hey, you said it yourself. There must be a way to get there, right? You'll find it. Uh, all right. I will. I give you my word. I'll take care of your son. I'll guard him with my life. Thanks, Oren. You were always such a stiff. But that's what I liked about you. That is why. Final Fantasy game, you can never save too much. Oh, the green screen! <laughs> summoning's gone but i'll think of something just give me a little more time uh, this port is so jank i had this fixed at one point It's a video card setting that's doing it too. I don't know if it, because it restarted it went back to default and I have to go back and do it every time now.
Aren't we the happy-looking bunch? Frana! Frana! Where? Where? That all you can say? Why don't you think of something? Well? Any good ideas? Come on, help us. What do we know? Sin is ject. Thus you have a link, a bond with sin. That may be our key. So, what do we do? We think, and we wait. Two things I'm bad at. Alright, Dremel Spear Level 2. The spears can teleport you back to the airship thanks to Rin and the Albed. So, Blitzball is back open. You can travel anywhere on the globe on Spira at this point. We need to sit and think this through. There has to be a way. Still thinking. So much for the final Aeon solving everything. Rush this and we'll lose everything. We need to plan carefully. And this is that open-ended spot where, I mean... May I help you? Thank you. Your patronage is very much appreciated. circumstance, yes, this would be the time where you go through and collect all the Aeons, play all the Blitzball that you want, 
recruit players or Blitzball. Cutscene. I'm no good. At all. What are you talking about? All this time I've been thinking about how to defeat Sin. But I... Beyond the teachings of Yevon... I... I know nothing. I'm sorry. You not no apologies. But... Apology is running. Yuna never run away. <laughs> Thank you, Kamari. So, uh, Kamari, you got any good ideas? Yevin's teachings. The teachings won't help us fight sin. No answer in the teachings. Answers lie outside. Must know both sides to find answer. Both sides. Micah knows much. Find him. Make him talk. That's it! Kimari, you rock! <clears throat> so we're supposed to go see Maester Micah. anything out here. It's kind of interesting that they make this still a usable area even though there's nothing here, literally. I believe to Bavel. Hey guys, I just had a great idea. It was my idea. Let me tell them. It's like this, yeah? I just thought the hymn's the key. The hymn? Sir Jack likes the hymn of the faith, correct? Yeah. That's why he was listening to it in Makalania. Sin, violence incarnate, listening peacefully. Uh, I know it's your old man, and I don't mean no disrespect, but... No, it's fine. I've gotten used to it. Let me say it. If we attack Sin head-on, we've little chance of winning. However, if he hears the Hymn of the Faith, he will become docile. Yeah, and that's when we make our move. Uh, might be against the rules and all, but who's keeping track, yeah? Huh? Yeah? Yeah, it could really work. Take care, Trees. Yeah, yeah. It's worth a try. All right. I'm going to save once and we're going to try it.
Well, that sounds like a plan to me. My baby here will take us anywhere we want. The high bridge is apparently new. Here we go. Infidel. Man, don't these guys ever give up? You regret showing your face here. We'll strike you down in the name of Yevon. <sighs> blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so guys... If they want to fight, let's give them one. Prepare to charge! Stop! Captain? Lady Yuna is not to be harmed. She's no traitor. That is an evil rumor spread by the Albed. What? Maester Micah himself told me. Then what are we to do? Stand down! As she says. What was that about evil Albed? I... Truly, I do not understand it myself. Oh, Yevon seems to be in a state of confusion. Why, yesterday... They called me out of the blue and made me captain of the guard. <laughs> Short on believers? Yes, the chaos in the temples is worse than I'd imagined. It's horrible. And all the priests do is blame each other. I worry what will become of Yevon. But no! I must be the rock that stands against the swirling tides, right? <laughs> Lady Yuna, I must tell you, your courage has been a great inspiration to me. Yeah, that's great, but we came here to see Maester Micah. Is he here? Y yes, uh, I shall arrange an audience. Please wait in the courtroom. Hey! Hey! Wait! What was all that about the Albed lying and stuff? Simple. Yuna has become Micah's only hope. Oh... Okay. Just what does he think he can get away with? Time to teach him some manners. Yes, let's... Why are you here? You must go and defeat Sin quickly. You have obtained the final Aeon from Unaleska, have you not? Well, we did meet her. That's one way to put it. We fought and defeated her. What? Summoners and guardians will be sacrificed for the final summoning no more. You have profaned and subverted a thousand-year-old tradition. Fools! Infants! Do you realize what you've done? You've taken away the only means of calming sin. Hey, maybe that's not the only way. We think we've got another. Why? Preposterous! There is no other way! The Grand Maester running away. Spira has lost its only hope. Destruction is inevitable. You Yevon's spiral of death will consume us all. I have no desire to watch Spira die. It won't die. Who is this you Yevon guy? Lady Unaleska also mentioned him. Wait, Gramps! Who's you, Yevon? He who crafts the souls of the dead into unholy armor. An armor called Zen. Clad in it, you, Yevon, is invincible. And the only thing that could have pierced that armor, you have destroyed! Nothing can stop it now. Ah, 
disappear on us, will you? Rotten son of a trooper. He sent himself. Where, where is the Grand Maester? He, uh... He's not here yet. How long must we wait? That's odd. I'll go look for his grace. It's you. Come to my room. Okay. Okay. Who are you talking to? Oh, uh, no one. I must go see the Faith. <laughs> I see. There's a lot of cutscene here. Hello. I must thank you for the Aeon. So what's up? So, have you found a way to truly defeat Sin? Well... Well? We think the Hymn of the Faith might slow Sin down. Hmm. Perhaps. You mean it won't work? A very long time has passed since your father became Sin. He may not be able to hear the hymn anymore. I know it's a long shot. But we gotta try it if there's a chance. Yes, you must. I'm glad you're doing this. You have a good spirit, truly. I'm not just a dream, right? A dream? Uh, it's a long story. If it works, what'll you do then? You need more than the hymn. Well... Well? We fight Yu Yevon. Yes. If you defeat Yu Yevon, it will end. Tell me, what do you know about Yu Yevon? Nothing. He's what makes Sin come back. Sin is his armor. It protects him. Yu Yevon was once a summoner long ago. He was peerless. Yet now he lives for one purpose, only to summon. He is neither good nor evil. He is awake, yet he dreams. But maybe not forever. Yeah, that's right. Because we're ending it. Yes. Even if you defeat Sin with the final summoning, Yu Yevon will live. Yu Yevon will join with the final Aeon. He will transform it into a new Sin. Yu Yevon merges with the Aeon. Then, protected by this new Sin he has created, Yu Yevon continues the summoning. For eternity. Huh? But you know there is no such thing as eternity if you end it, is there? Uh-huh. Yu Yevon lives inside Sin. Yuna, listen. When you fight Yu Yevon, we will help you. Promise me you'll summon us. I'm afraid your swords and magic won't be enough. Please call us. Promise? Yes. But you know... When it is all over... We will wake, and our dream will end. Our dream... Will vanish. Yeah. You've been dreaming a long time, haven't you? I'm sorry. I'm grateful. About what? Oh, nothing. Hey, don't make that face. Come on, we're gonna beat Sin. Uh, let's see some cheer, okay? You're hiding something. I'm not. Really? You're a 
bad liar, you know. I... I'm afraid the Grand Maester is nowhere to be found. It's okay, we were just leaving. Oh, I see. Hey! Maybe you could help us with the hymn. Hey, good idea! It's like... We need you to tell as many people as you can. What should I tell them? A ship in the sky will sing the hymn of the faith. When they hear it, we need everyone to sing along. Everyone in Spira! I'm not sure I understand. You don't have to. Just tell everyone! A ship in the sky will sing the hymn of the faith? So, when they hear it, everyone should sing along, correct? Yeah. If they do, we might be able to defeat Sin. Truly? Yes. That's wonderful. You can count on me. I shall tell all of Spira. The final showdown with Sheen. I say let's get this show on the road! One more first. I've seen this moment number uh, numerous, numerous times, and never played into it. The final showdown with Sheen. I say, let's get this show on the road. Yeah, here we go. I hope this well, isn't a green screen. <laughs> Yu Yevin's hiding somewhere inside Sin, and we're gonna find him. Well, that sounds pretty simple. Hey, simple is the way you like it, right? You got that right. Pops, I'm counting on ya. Right, got you covered. Yeah. How's that? A singing ship in the sky. I hope everyone got the message. Shreen! Damn! Green screen. All right, we're going in. How are we going to get inside? The easy way. How else? Figures. Well, let's go. Hey, how you plan on getting inside? If we can't get through the mouth, we'll rip open a new one. You with me? <laughs> now that's what I call a plan. Vidra, it go free do it car. Of course. Of course. All right. We'll give that thing a new blowhole. All you gotta do is jump. Roger. I won't tell you to be careful. Do your worst, kiddo. Roger. Vet. <clears throat> Riku. You... Uh, guard! Will do.
ten after nine. I can hear the song. Yes, I can hear the hymn too. They listen to us. We won't let them down. Yuna. Hmm? You don't need this anymore, right? Oh. Right? I gotta figure out. That's the worst part of this is the FMP. I got it fixed for the one cutscene. And it keeps coming back. lame because this is the part that I want to see because I've never seen like everything up to this I've seen before I'm way over that part of it. I should have checked this before we got started too, honestly. There's something in the settings and I I'd have to go back and check to see what the Reddit is again for it. But something in the settings for the uh, the graphics card sets it into an economy mode. And when it's in economy mode... Damn you, old man. Hey, I saw something shine at the base of Sheen's arm. I reckon it's a weak spot. Good! Free, free! Sin's pulling us in! Everyone, back inside! Don't leave me! Get loose! You know, but it's not out of range for though.
What? Really? I don't know if I can use this one or not. Nope, you're immune. Nice. Oh, see, this is a more effective way to use the move and pull back. With the first battle, like, it was all but worthless, I would say. One of that. I think 
you can take the his special there. Nope, apparently not. Not have armor break on? Oh, that's right, you didn't negate. Hurry up and spend that so I can do something else. Get fucked with.
No, I want you back. Got it. Here goes. Everyone, hold on to something. Here we go. Fucking cutscenes. Does that mean we have to do this again? Fuck, we'll do something. Yeah! We'll do a lot, but...
I guess as long as I'm here, I might as well steal some, something. God, you suck. Closer! Go closer! Oh, Just we're over back. halfway there. Oddly enough, have to use an ether on Orin. Yeah. And that to do nothing. So we'll be shot off. Come on, give me a fourth. Fuck you.
This is gonna suck. Because I really need Orm to be able to get an armor break. And it's not gonna happen. But much better that. than taking whatever the hell that attack is going to do. Happen nothing. We're going in. So I got plenty of those since I didn't have to use them in uh, the Unalesca fight. You know what else is cool? You didn't get a negate off, so... Wait, wait, wait. 
take the last shot against Jekt. Get one more green screen. They don't. Mira! Where next? Et de Kuchan. Fred? Farija Umo Pakia. Pidra Shake, a deck noga. The dread Lidpa. The main gun's busted. Dang it. All right, back, back inside. inside. Time, Time for, for another, another plan. plan. No, we're going in. Every blitzer knows when you got the ball. You gotta score! Let's go! Hey! Star players first! Take care of you.
So that appears to be a can't kill you spell, which is nice. And it looks like that might be the only attack that it has. This is like Demi, it's only taking a fraction at a time. Now mind you, Bahamut is not going to take very much more of that. There's eventually going to be a point where it's over. But getting that sin spawn out of the way was huge. Navigation. Why the fuck wouldn't you? Well, you're useless at this point.
Green screen. It's going to come back, isn't it? I know. What? You're kidding me! No, we have to beat the guy inside, Sin! The Crusaders would be out of a job if it was this easy, huh? But it has weakened. I'm sure of it. Yeah! We're winning! Alright. I'll do what I can with the main gun. But what this will do is give everybody a chance to regroup. And you know what? I'm going to leave that there because I'm going to go back and fix this. And we're going to watch, well, I'm going to watch the cutscenes. I don't know if I'm going to do it with, uh, with the rest of you guys or not, but I'm going to watch the cutscenes after I go fix it in the computer. But with that, it's 10 o'clock. I have to work in the morning. So we're going to call that a night. A lot of lurkers tonight. I know Lunar Trees was over here. And questioning why it is that I enjoyed that game, but <clears throat> this is... And I know I said this a bunch of weeks ago, but I didn't, number one, uh, count on the Rage Quit with Unaleska. And then number two, a couple weeks off of here. Um... We'll probably finish this though before March. We're probably going to be done with this. I thought we were going to be done with this by now, but we probably will be by March. Because that is, that's the end right there is where we're going. So, yeah, a lot of fun. But I'm out of here. Change up the title card and thank you guys for watching, hanging out. And if you're watching on the replay, thank you guys for that too. I know I'm getting more gaming views on the YouTube side. I don't check my Twitch stats for the replay because I don't know how, but I'm getting a lot of views on the YouTube side and you guys rock, by the way, for that. That's awesome. Thanks for coming in and doing that because, I mean, it saves the live as an active video. And, I mean, if I start getting more and more views like that, I might just do what I've been doing with um, with Contemporary and hit record as soon as I'm ready to start, like, you know, go live and then start making the announcements and then hit record right before I'm going to start and start uploading that as a separate video instead, private the video, do it as a video because I think that there's a market for that and I think that's going to be fun. But for that, that's going to be behind the scenes stuff for the future. Thanks everybody so much for watching, hanging out and seeing what it is that we do here and we will see you on Friday for Fallout Fridays. I'm not going to miss Fallout Friday this week. I know two weeks ago I was sick. I was so sick, I needed to, like, that was another one, too, where I started taking a sleep aid. So I just, I said the hell with it. I hadn't slept for two days. I took a sleep aid and crashed. And last Friday, my niece was wrestling at a local high school. 
and she's eight, and it meant a lot to her. And she was really, really close to here instead of at the hour away that she usually is. So I took the time and saw it. Family comes first. But with that, we're out of here. Take care. Have a fantastic night. We'll see you next time. And it might be the last episode next time. It's going to be one or two yet. So we'll see. Take care. I just saw that Steel and Souls popped in right before I was uh, getting ready to go out. You're fighting sin. Does the J stand for Jesus? It does not. Now I'm out of here. Take care.